Hi Stampers! Today we're going to be um, doing a technique uh, rather than making a card, although I wanted to show you how uh, you can use the finished product in a card. But we're going to be doing this background here, and this background um, is actually done with a brayer. So I'll show you how you can do that. Um, and it's very easy and it comes out really beautiful, and every time you do it it's a little bit different. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a brayer um, with the roller and the handle. These rollers come out, so you're just going to go ahead and pull that roller out, and it's a rubber type roller. Okay, then you're going to take um, rubber bands, and you can use various sizes. I have all one size here just to kind of show you. Five or six rubber bands will probably do the trick. You're just going to go ahead and put the rubber bands on the roller, and you're going to do this in various patterns. You know, don't try to put them all on top of one another. You're just going to go ahead and put them on and have some, you know, spread apart from each other. And you're going to just go ahead and wrap these around until you get the look that you want. And again, I've used five. Um, you can use more or less, whatever whatever you choose. Probably do one more here. And various thicknesses is fine. Then you're going to go ahead and put the roller back in to the handle. Take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and you're going to go ahead and run your handle through Versamark. So you're going to get it nice and damp. And on the brayers, you always want to go in one direction um, just to make sure that you get it nice and evenly coated. You're going to go ahead and take your Versamark and run it across your card. Go ahead and wet it again. And run it across the rest of the card. I would make your cardstock just a little bit bigger than what you probably would normally want. Um, and you can always trim it down. Then I've got some gold embossing powder. I'm going to go ahead and spread that on. And then we're going to go ahead and heat this up with the embossing gun. See, now I used a little bit too much pressure right in here. You're going to see with this heavier thing, but it still turns out fine. You don't have to redo it or anything. Um, but I just wanted to show you when you press a little too hard, that's what happens. I'm going to go ahead and use a little clip to hold this in place while I heat it. And make sure this gets set up real good. Okay, we'll let that dry just for a minute. And then we're going to turn the cardstock the opposite way and do the same thing going the opposite direction. So you'll go ahead and run your brayer or across the card again. Put your embossing powder on and then heat set that again. So this is what your image is going to look like now. And you can tell when it starts turning um, a, diff a little different color, gets shinier, that you're, you're done with the embossing. You're just going to want that to really be nice and, and dry. Um, obviously, don't, don't do it so long that you're going to burn through the card, but you'll be able to tell when it's finished. Okay, so we're going to turn that off. Okay, so now you've got this done, which I think it looks really pretty actually like that. You could leave it this way if you wanted to and use this as your background. Um, but if you don't want to do that and you want to do what I've done on this card, basically what I've done with this is I've taken um, Chocolate Chip and Cajun Craze, And that's kind of an orangey color. 
and I've sponged a little color onto the background of this. And it just gives it a little bit different look if you do it rather than leaving it with a white background. So you can just go ahead and sponge in this if you want to with any color that matches the particular cardstock that you're working with. Um, and I have the Cajun Craze and the chocolate chip around it, so that's the colors that I've used. And I've just kind of worked it in between. And you can sponge on this very easily. And then I took a little bit of chocolate chip and I did the same thing with the sponge to do that. Just around the outside here, just to darken it up a little bit. And as you can see, I mean, this beautiful embossing comes through and it's just a really, really neat technique. Um, I, it, you know, to me, it, it really fares well with any kind of an Asian type theme as well. But um, I've seen it on other cards and it's really beautiful. So um, anyway, so that's kind of a neat technique wanted to show you and the great ways that you can use your brayer. So um, I hope that you get one of these and enjoy using it in more than just one way. Thanks and have a great day. Happy stamping.